Ali Big Ali Big Show שאני הייתי כאן מילים ואני מבקש סליחה שאני אדבר באנגלית אבל דיברתי עם ג'יי רק באנגלית כאן בארי יתר משפחה טוב מבקש תודה It is just about impossible to conceive the fact that a year, ago, a year has passed since our dear friend Jay Yaakov Sender left us. I cannot think of a more fitting way to honor his memory than the writing of a Sefer Torah. For Jay, a person who was so totally devoted himself to the observance of moral mitzvot, this would be the ultimate honor and mem memorial. He and Maui raised three beautiful children, all devoted to the Torah and his precepts, and all married to spouses as equally committed as themselves. So that, together, they have children, B'nai Torah and B'not Torah, beautiful grandchildren of whom Jay was so proud. Having sat behind Jay and Shul for so many years, I was able to witness his joy and excitement when his children and later his grandchildren came in to sit next to him. It always brought a smile to his lips and a gleam to his eyes even when he was already sick and not feeling well. It was also so fitting that the silver pieces adorning J. Sefer Torah have been donated in memory of his parents and, this, and the crown in memory of his father-in-law, Shammai Siegel, with whom he was so very close. So many times he would go looking for Jay, only to find him at the Siegel home, working with Shammai and his book in Yiddish, even though Jay's Yiddish was quite poor at the beginning, or helping with other errands for his in-laws. A truly kibbutz of the aim, as if they were his own parents. We have so much to learn from Jay, especially in the innate observance of the mitzvot of Ben Adam Ladam. We have all seen and heard of Jay's super involvement in the Bourbon community in Shul. There was not a facet of the community that he did not become involved with, or upon which he did not leave his mark. It was he who first computerized the Leo's list, your site, Mishaberak list, davening history, seating for the high holidays for both Minyanim, preparing the charts to hang in the lobby, finding a place for every person who wanted to daven with us, so as not to leave anyone out, observant or not observant. The journal dinner planning, both the dinner and the journal, with meticulous attention to all its endless details, maintenance of the shul and organizing all the Balei Malaka needed to keep the building working properly. And always in the end, getting more than we paid for. For Jay was able to sweet talk them all into doing it for slower prices and helping out as a new friend. But Jay's inner beauty was truly apparent when it came to Pesach. His transporting people who were sick, his volunteering work in Ezimitzion, his hospital visits to members of our shul and to other members and, and to other friends. He was always the first one in line to reach and act upon way to help out. His tachnasat him, both in the shul where strangers would walk in and Jay would run over to offer a seat or ask what he could do to help. And at home with Maui, where they will always, always have extra guests at their table. I was always amazed how well Maui could just, in a whiff, make so much food and have so many people. When B and I moved into the community, they were among the first people to have us for a Shabbat meal, when they were living on a whole mountain. I still remember it clearly. Jay was a, new, a unique person, one who truly went out of his way to help others, always with a smile on his face. He was a true soldier of peace, Rodev Shalom, always trying to prevent any fights because of disagreements or variants of opinion. We have so much to learn from Jay's legacy. For me, Jay was a true and trusted friend. May his memory and the sacred Torah that his family has written in his memory serve as a reminder to all of us of how to improve our skills and our dumb or dumb, and fulfill the mitzvah that was so precious to him. And may we learn from a proverb, Ezehu Asher HaSameach Bechalko, which so beautifully describes how Jay lived his life, always doing and worrying about others, 
always thinking of a way to improve the life of individuals who constituted his community. It was a great honor to be considered a close friend of his. Okay, he's a close friend of his. 